Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about I nodes in Unix system, right? So particularly I nodes in Unix system V, right? So Unix system V is nothing but one of the commercial versions of Unix. Today we are using a Federal, right? Red Hat, right? So those are the different versions of Unix, right? So system V is also a one of the uh, first versions, commercial versions of a Unix operating system, right? So in this video, I'm going to discuss the I nodes, right? So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And to get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. Please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. Let me begin the explanation of I nodes. So even today, the different uh, versions are using the same concept that are used in Unix system V. Unix system V is one of the uh, first commercial version of a Unix operating system. So in Unix system V, so a file system in Unix file system, we have a I node table. So what it does? A I note table keeps track of all files. Whatever the files is there in our operating system, the details of all that files will be there in the I note table. So each entry of the I note table is a I note record. This I note table contains the I note record. This I note record contains all the attributes of a file. I told you it will contain the details of all the files, right? So if I take a one entry, one entry will be there for one file, right? So that particular uh, record will contain all the attributes of a file, including the I node number, right? For every file, there will be I node number. If you want to identify that particular file, you can use the I node number. So that I node number details, attribute details, and also the address, physical address details of that particular file, along with the data details also will be there in the I note table. In simple words, each and every pin to pin information of a particular file that is present in your OS will be there in your I note table. Just remember that not only the address, not only the I note number, not only the attribute, also the data that is present in that particular file, the data details will also be stored in the I node table. Right? For example, uh, if a kernel needs to access the information of a particular file with the inode number 50, what it does means it will scan the inode table to find the entry which contains the inode number 15, right? In order to access the necessary data. For example, if a kernel wants, right, wants to access the particular data of a file with the inode number 15, it will scan that inode table to find out the entry 15, then it will take the necessary data. For example, you can see here, this is the sample directory file content. So you can see there, uh, the file name x, y, z will have a inode number 201. So the inode number of a file name is what? x, y, z is what? 201. Along with that, there will be a additional details of attributes and also data details will also be there. But it is not shown here. This is only sample. Uh, structure how your uh, inode numbers will be allocated to a particular file. So whenever a kernel wants to access the contents of a particular file, it will take the particular inode number, it can access that file and it can access the contents that are inside the file also. Getting guys? Hope you are understanding. If you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. Right? So, next. Uh, an inode number is a unique within a file system. I told you, uh, for a particular person who is working in a particular company, right, his identification number is unique. In the same way, for every file, the inode number will be unique. It is different for different, different files. I need to identify, right? That's why it should be unique. And also, a file inode record is identified by a file system ID. 
you have a inode number for a particular file right in the same way for a file system also you have a id and a inode number hope you are getting guys right so you can have a two different file system then you have to identify your file that is present in a particular file system for example assume that we you have a two file system file system 1 file system 2 your file is in file system 2 so then you have to write use a file system id of a particular file system that is 2 then you have to use inode number also to find out the particular file that is present in file system 2 hope you are understanding right generally the os does not keep the name of the file in its record because the mapping of the file names to inode number is done through directory files directory file contains a list of names of the respective inode numbers for all the files stored in that directory i already told you so for every file name there will be inode number allocated to it right os does not keep this track right directory files will keep track of this hope you are understanding guys so to access a file for example see use uh, slash user slash vishesh how it is going to find out that particular file it is very simple the unix kernel always knows that slash means what root directory when it sees the slash it understood that right it understood that root directory slash is a root directory right so on next inode number of any process it will scan the root directory file to find the inode number of the user file you can see there it will scan the slash directory to find out the inode number of the user file once it gets the user file inode number it access the contents of the user file it then looks for the inode number of a vicious file hope you are understanding it will first it will access uh, first it will scan the root then user directory then vicious vicious is a user right that is present in the user directory hope you are understanding guys first it will fire, uh, search for the root then it will search for the user then it will search inside the user to find out vicious the username so you can observe there for root also there will be a node number for user also there will be a node number Whenever a new file is created in a directory, the Unix kernel allocates a new entry in the inode table to store the information of the new files. So whenever you create a file, for each file, the inode entry will be there. It will kernel will allocate the inode entry in the inode table. And also it will assign a unique inode number to the file and add the new file name and inode number to the directory file that contains it. So the directory file also contains the inode number of the particular new file that is created. Getting guys? Hope you are understanding the concepts. Suppose if you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. <laughs>